A recent filing with the California Public Utilities Commission shows that as of January, more than 361,000 SDG&E customers were at least one month behind on their energy bills. That represents about 26% of their residential customer base. The fundamental and root cause of this is the high, high, high SDG&E rates. Edward Lopez is executive director of the watchdog nonprofit UCAN, the Utility Consumers Action Network. He says this problem is not new. This problem is too outstanding. It's contributing to general unaffordability, especially here in California and San Diego. But on the positive side, the number of past due accounts dropped by 16,000 compared to the previous month, and the total dollar amount collectively owed by customers fell from 275 million in July to 255 million in January. We care, we understand it may be stressful uh, to be behind on your bill, uh, but we are always here to help. Anthony Wagner with SDG&E says communication is key. He says the number one thing someone can do if they fall behind is to contact them. I think it's safe to say we've yet to find a customer that we've not been able to help regardless of their circumstance. So what kind of help is out there? Well, for one, the CARE program offers low-income customers who qualify a 30% discount. And then there's the FARA program, Family Energy Rate Assistance. If you have three or more people in your household and meet the low-income requirements, you could save 18% on your monthly electric bill. And then there's the federally funded Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, which provides one-time financial assistance for an eligible household's utility bill, or if you're in danger of having your power turned off. And if you don't qualify for any of these, you still may be able to get on a payment plan. They shouldn't feel ashamed of falling behind in their, their bills. That's just a sad state of reality right now. Reach out to SDG&E, let them know you'd like to uh, be on a pay payment plan. Working for you, Brian White, CBS 8. Thanks, Brian. Here at CBS 8, we do want to help solve problems that affect you. If there's an issue you'd like us to look into, email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com. More than